Let's explore nine signs that a woman is using you. It's important for you to recognize the signs so you can protect yourself and maintain a healthy relationship. Chapter one, watch out for over the top compliments. So, you know how sometimes people can be super nice and give you lots of compliments? Well, if you're a guy who values his independence and someone starts showering you with way too many praises and flattery right from the beginning, you might want to be a little cautious. You see, some women might use these over-the-top compliments as a way to manipulate you. They might say things like, you're the most amazing guy I've ever met, or you're so much better than other guys out there. Now, don't get me wrong, it's nice to feel appreciated, but when it's too much, it could be a sign that she's trying to boost your ego on purpose. So why would she do that? Well, it could be because she wants something from you. Maybe she wants you to do things for her or give her special treatment. By making you feel extra special, she's hoping you'll be more likely to go along with her wishes. Chapter 2. Be aware of her appealing to your independence. You know how much you value your freedom and don't like to be tied down? Well, some women might use that knowledge to their advantage. They might tell you things like, you're not like other guys, or you're so different, and I love that about you. Now, it's nice to feel unique, right? But here's the thing, if she keeps emphasizing how independent you are, it could be a sneaky way to manipulate you. Why? Because she's trying to play into your desire for freedom. By making you feel like you're this super unique and independent guy, she hopes you'll be more open to her influence. She might use your love for freedom to get you to do things you wouldn't usually do or make you feel obligated to go along with her plans. Remember, it's awesome to be independent and you should never change that about yourself. But if a woman keeps telling you how different you are from other guys to the point where it feels like she's trying to control you, it's time to be careful. Chapter 3. Be cautious when she plays the victim. You know how sometimes people act like they're the ones who've been hurt or mistreated to get sympathy? Well, some women might use this victim card to manipulate you. When a woman plays the victim, she's trying to make you feel sorry for her, and that can be a red flag. So how does it work? Let's say you're in a disagreement, and instead of trying to understand your side, she starts saying things like, you always hurt me, or I'm always the one who suffers. She might even cry or look really sad to make you feel guilty. When you start feeling guilty, she can use that to her advantage. By making you feel like you've done something wrong, she might get you to do things you don't want to do or behave the way she wants. It's like she's trying to obligate you to make up for something you didn't even do. Chapter 4. Watch out for isolation tactics. You love spending time with your friends and family, right? Well, some women might try to mess with that by isolating you from the people you care about. It's a big red flag when someone does that. Manipulators want to have more control over you. And one way they try to do it is by weakening your support system. So if a woman keeps saying bad things about your friends or family, or if she tries to make you spend less time with them, be careful. Being with someone who isolates you can be harmful because you might end up feeling more dependent on her and less confident in yourself. A healthy relationship means you can be yourself and spend time with the people who matter to you. Chapter 5. Be wary of excessive gifts or favours. It feels good when someone gives you gifts or does you favours, right? But what if it's happening all the time and it starts to feel a bit too much? Well, that might be a sign of manipulation. A manipulative woman might try to win you over by showering you with extravagant gifts or doing constant favours for you. At first it might seem great, but here's the catch. She's doing it to create a sense of obligation and indebtedness. When someone keeps giving you things or doing stuff for you, you might feel like you owe them something in return, and that's precisely what she wants. It can be tough to say no when you feel like you're in debt to her. Chapter 6. Don't let her push your boundaries. You know your limits, right? Well, some women might try to test them and push your boundaries to see how much they can influence you. It's like they're trying to see how far they can go to get what they want. For example, she might ask for bigger and bigger favours or commitments from you. At first, it might seem harmless, but if it keeps happening and you're doing things you're not comfortable with, it's time to be careful. It's essential to set boundaries in any relationship and stick to them. Don't let anyone pressure you into doing things that go against your values or make you feel uncomfortable. A healthy relationship is about mutual respect and understanding each other's limits. If you feel like she's pushing you too much, it's crucial to speak up and let her know how you feel. 
Remember, you have the right to say no, and your feelings and comfort should always come first. Trust yourself and your instincts. Chapter 7. Pay attention when she ignores your boundaries. You know how everyone has their personal space and limits, right? Well, it's crucial to respect each other's boundaries in a relationship. But if you find that the woman you're with keeps ignoring your boundaries, it might be a warning sign. Respecting boundaries means understanding and considering each other's feelings and needs. If she constantly disrespects your personal space or doesn't listen when you say no to something, it shows that she might not be thinking about your feelings. It's not healthy for someone to ignore your boundaries because it can make you feel uncomfortable and undervalued. A caring partner should be willing to understand and respect your limits without making you feel bad about them. Chapter 8. Be wary of gaslighting tactics. Gaslighting is a tricky tactic that manipulative individuals might use to mess with your mind. It's when someone tries to make you doubt your own thoughts and feelings, and that can be super confusing and hurtful. If you find yourself constantly questioning your judgments or feeling like you can't trust your own instincts, it's essential to be cautious. Gaslighting can make you feel like you're going crazy or that your feelings are not valid and that's not okay. A healthy relationship is built on trust and honesty, and you should never have to doubt yourself because of someone else. If you feel like she's trying to manipulate your thoughts and feelings, it's crucial to talk to someone you trust about it or seek professional support. Chapter 9. Watch out for emotional blackmail. Hey dude, emotions are a natural part of any relationship, but when someone uses them as a weapon to get their way, it's not cool. Emotional blackmail is a manipulative tactic that you need to be aware of. If a woman threatens to end the relationship or harm herself if you don't do what she wants, that's a big red flag. It's not fair for someone to use your emotions against you to manipulate you into complying with their demands. A healthy relationship is based on open communication and understanding, not on threats and fear. If you ever feel like she's emotionally blackmailing you, it's essential to talk to her about it and set clear boundaries. Conclusion. Being an independent guy like you can be awesome, but it's essential to watch out for manipulation, especially in relationships. Remember, you deserve to be with someone who respects and values you for who you are. Now that you know the signs that a woman is using you, it's time to dive deeper into their world. Discover the signs that set Sigma males apart from jerks in our video Signs You're a Jerk, Not a Sigma Male. Hit that like button if you find it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.